Okay, we got to solve this system of equations to again. This is x minus y plus z equals negative 3. 2x minus y plus 5z equals 4. And 4x plus 2y minus z equals 2. Okay, first thing I did was I put the first and the second one together. I'm eliminating the y's. So I put the first one and the second one together. That got me x minus y plus z equals negative 3. 2x minus y plus 5z equals 4. I'm subtracting because my y's are same signs. 1x minus 2x is negative x. Negative y minus negative y is gone. z minus 5z is negative 4z. And 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So there's new equation number 1. Don't lose it. And after that, I just put my second 2 together, but I had to multiply the second one all by 2 to make that a 2y. So when I multiplied all of that by 2, I got me 4x minus 2y plus 10z equals 8. And I just copy this one down again. 4x plus 2y minus z equals 2. Okay, now, looks funny here, but my y's are different signs, so that's an addition problem. So 4x plus 4x is 8x. Gone. 10z plus negative 1z is a positive 9z. And 8 plus 2 is 10. So there's new equation number 2. Don't lose it. Now, I'm looking at my two new equations. Uh, not ready to eliminate anything yet, but I figured I could make my x's both be 8's fairly simply. So I just multiplied this top equation by 8. Got me negative 8x, and then that was minus 32z equals negative 8. There's my second one. My 8x's are different signs, so I'm adding. That's nothing. Negative 32z plus 9z is negative 23z. Okay, back here I've made a mistake. This was a negative 3 here. So negative 3 minus 4, that would make this a negative 7. So when I multiplied this 8 times negative 7, that was negative 56. I knew something didn't look right. Sorry about that. So now I keep my addition here. Negative 56 plus 10 is negative 46. So now I divide that by negative 23, and z would be 2. Okay, so now I'm going to take that z equals 2, and I'm going to plug it back into one of my original ones to solve for x. I just plugged it in that top, not my original one, my new ones, solve for x. So I had negative x minus 4 times 2 equals negative 7. So it's negative x minus 8 equals negative 7. Add my 8, negative x equals 1. That's negative x, so divide by 1, and x would be negative 1. So I've got a z, I've got an x, I've got to go back to one of the original ones to get my y. So I'm going to erase here. Right, I'll just plug it in that top one up there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, x, which is negative 1, minus y plus z, which is 2, equals negative 3. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1, so negative y plus 1 equals negative 3. Subtract your 1. Negative y equals negative 4. Divide by negative 1, and y is 4. So we have x, y, z.